you know how you know there's there's many different ways that I believe that that you overcome um, tragedy or setbacks and things of that nature man but you know the, one of the greatest things about about a tragedy well not a great thing about tragedy itself but um, when it does come up and it does happen man the one thing that you have to look forward to is that you know you don't stay at that place that you that you know that things will will change that things won't remain the same and and when it's over that you're going to become that much stronger than you were before you went in it and, and i'm a firm believer that um that you know from from a spiritual standpoint man that that god is trying to reveal himself to you as somebody who he might not have been able to reveal himself to you as like like if you never knew known god as a healer um here's an opportunity for uh god to reveal himself as a healer to you um so it's a lot of times i you know i talk to people man and i tell them that you know who who is god trying to reveal himself as to you like who have you been um it, it's like how like who have he um, who have you denied him to be in your life? Like, you you know, he was trying to reveal himself to you a certain way and you rejected it. And I'm not talking about that he was the one that put you in that situation. But I'm just saying that's just another perspective that you can see uh, when you go into tragedy or when you have been experiencing something uh, bad in your life, man. But, you know, I always look at that as an art of a comeback, as an opportunity for me to come back and give a story, give a testimony on... Uh, that, that I'm stronger and that I'm not defeated. You know, it's just one of my things, man, that I um, that I accepted from my boy DeAndre Carter uh, when he mentioned about turning your, your L's, which most people associate with losses. Um, but he said, you know, let's turn those, those losses into lessons. And I embrace that. I so embrace that, man, is that, and, and it went along with uh, what I always say, man, that all I do is win. You know, so to come over, overcome, you know, a setback, or overcome, you know, tragedy, man. You know, it's going to take a lot of perseverance, man. It's going to take a lot of, um, you know, perseverance and, and vision casting and just, you know, drawing a line in the sand and say, I just refuse to quit. I refuse to allow this circumstance or situation to own me, you know, because you was, you was bought, you was, you know, birthed for greatness. And, and a lot of times greatness, or not most of the time, but all the time, greatness is, you know, comes out of, you know, pain and it comes out of tragedy, you know, because how can you talk to people and and them not uh, relate to you if you just everything just been good and you never experienced anything, you know, bad, man, you can't tell me how to overcome something. You, you can't tell me how to persevere. You can't tell me, you know, how to keep going when you don't have uh, anything to look for. So, so there's many different ways, man, but that's just one of the things uh, on how I, I view uh, overcoming some of the setbacks in your life.